Go for it. Okay, hi. Um, my film title is Visible Abstraction. Uh, the music is Prof. Kiev. Um, and the next video you're about to see is a video I made of some artwork of mine. It'll just kind of give you the idea. Um, so basically, my film is a drama with two characters. There has the artist in his studio, and um, out of the blue, his sister turns up, uh, uninvited. Um, it's basically a bit of backstory. The idea of the film is it's meant to deal with intellectual angst, and um, like the parents of the siblings expected great things of them, um, so it kind of caused a lot of sibling rivalry. Um, I want to make it clear that the artist in, in no way is like superior to his sister. Um, he's quite selfish and withdrawn. Um, the reason for his sister's arrival is that she's broken up with her boyfriend. So already you can kind of see some acrimonious kind of stuff. To them. But, um, yeah, basically, as the film develops, there's like an argument and some conflict. Um, they kind of discuss their childhoods, um, and the argument could become petty. Um, she could accuse him of being the favourite and her bossing him around. Stuff like that, just kind of sibling stuff. Um, basically, what, what I want to make clear <coughs> in this pitch is the visuals play such an important part in this film. Um, the paintings that he's been doing is going to be key to the plot. Um, there could also be something like a family photo involved in one of his paintings, and this could kind of cause her like to question his kind of ethics about using his childhood as a... As a tool for creativity. Um, so the sister could comment on it and this could also cause some conflict. The artist could get defensive about his use of the, uh, the family photo in the film. Um, so yeah, for the ending, uh, I kind of want to have maybe a resolution of some sort between the two siblings, um, but it could also end quite differently. Um, I could have a flashback to when they were kids. Um, Something, something about a flashback at the end of a film, just kind of, it's really, I don't know, I can't, it just, it just sums the whole film up without having a typical kind of ending, or we could end with some kind of abstract imagery, which, which would also add to the whole abstractness. Um, anyway, now I'm going to show you some film clips, um, I'll turn the lights on. Uh, first is Five Easy Pieces with Jack Nicholson. Okay, you can turn this down a bit. Um, so, you can kind of see sibling relationships there. Oh shit, you can't see that. Um, pause it for a second. Um, this is a photo of my, art, my uncle's studio in uh, Cornwall. Um, it could be a great location for the film. Um, you can see some of his artwork there. Um, this is my sister in his studio, you see the big windows. Um, if we can't make it in the studio, then we'll obviously make it in the studio here. Here's some abstract imagery just to kind of see us off. Um, so I think this film has like a lot of potential. Um, and I just see, I just think, yeah, it's kind of, it's all about art and intellectual kind of dilemmas. And that's it. to write it or you want to direct it? I would, I would like a, script, a screenwriter. Um, if I can't find one then I might write it myself. I would like to direct it myself. Unless someone comes along with a really good pitch. Because that's one of the conditions that we, we do think, that you need to have somebody working with screenplay who is not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Like, I did prepare just one answer, <laughs> so I'll answer a non-question. I'll answer the question, um, why would this film be better than Five Easy Pieces or Shame, which are both outstanding films. I just think this one's like stripped down and um, it's just got the pure essence of intellectual angst.